Hello beautiful people, it's Yabo. If this is your first time of watching my video, you're welcome to my channel. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for stopping by. In today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys about similar African flags. I'm sure I'm not the only one that wonders like why are these flags so similar? Like if you don't look closely, you would think a two countries actually use the same flag but no they don't and in today's video i'm going to be telling you all about these flags their colors what it stands for and why these countries choose to use these colors so if you guys want to know more about it just stay tuned and if you like this video give it a thumbs up comment in the comment section what you think about it and don't forget to subscribe because why not why would you not want to come back for more content why not so in today's video, we are going to be talking about the similar flags in Africa. So, you guys, just stay tuned. My last video, I talked about um, brave black women in history. And then I talked about the empress who was also a queen and the wife of Emperor Menelik II. So, after the battle, I also talked about the battle of Adwa briefly in that um, video so if you guys have not watched my previous video i'm going to put a link in the description box so you guys can just watch it after the Ethiopian forces conquered the italian forces in the battle of adwa in 1896 emperor menelik ii Otho actually ordered for the creation of a flag with um three rectangular colors red yellow and green and also they add this um symbol at the center of the flag which is the crowned lion of judah i'm going to put a picture so you guys can just check it it's different from the present flag the symbol is different from the present flag they are using and that's because as um the system of government changed so also did the flag change so yeah, you get according to um Emperor Menelik when he created these colors, he wanted it to symbolize the um Ethiopian and the Senian, um victory over the Italian force and also their resistance um against the European colonization. So after Ghana gained uh, independence in 1957, Kwame Nkrumah, who was the first, who was Ghana's first president. And Prime Minister actually adopted these same colors and not because they could not get other colors or they are not even allowed to it, it, it was just um it was just a way to promote pan-africanism and also solidarity among the African country so Ghana was the first country to use these colors and when Ghana wanted to use this color they added a little bit of twist to it so they adopted the um, Ethiopian flag style with a twist which sounds like a nice cocktail imagine going to the restaurant and just saying oh I would like to order a flag style with a twist it makes sense but we are not talking about that so um, when Ghana wanted to create their own flag they actually turned the Ethiopian flag from top from bottom to the top yeah so instead of green yellow red Ghana's flag is red yellow green with a black star in the center Guinea also used this color like I said Ghana gained her independence in 1957 and Guinea gained her independence the next year, which was 1958. So, after Guinea gained, in, so when Guinea wanted to create their own flag, they definitely used these colors. But instead of Guinea, instead of them to have it in the horizontal way, Guinea is like, okay, since we are adding twists to it, let's make us in vertical form. So, Ghana's um, flag the horizontally, but Guinea had theirs in vertical form. So they add the red, yellow, and green in vertical form instead of horizontal. Mali also used these colors, and just like Ghana and Guinea, they also added twists to theirs. So Mali changed the colors from left to right. To right 
from right to left, I mean, to left to right. The ideas also in vertical form. And Mali gained her independence in 1960, November 24th to be precise. You can say Senegal's flag is Mali's flag, but with a green star in the center. They also have their colors in vertical form, but what distinguishes um, Senegal's flag from Mali's flag is that the Senegal flag has a green star in the center of their flag. Another country that also adopted these colors um, is Cameroon. Yeah. And Cameroon's flag, you know, okay, so 1960, right? You know, 1960 is more like a special year to the Cameroons because the Cameroon, because the country was like, mm -mm, I'm not here to play. They gained their independence the first day of the year, January 1st, 1960. 60 and Cameroon flag is also like the other countries they have the red the yellow and the green but what distinguishes the Cameroon flag from other flag is that unlike other countries that add yellow at the in the middle I mean Cameroon adds red in the middle of their flag so instead of the green yellow red they have green yeah, green red and yellow Another country that also added a good twist to it, more or less like, okay, let's just think outside the box. We are going to use these colors, but let's think outside the box, is the Republic of Congo. Um, like I said, Mali, Senegal, Cameroon, they have their colors in vertical form. But the Republic of Congo said, okay, you know what, let's just add a little bit of twist to us and think outside the box, like I said, and have our colors in the slant form. So they have these colors, the green, yellow, and red, but it was, but it is, sorry, but it is in slant form. Other countries also use these colors, but not as much as these countries that have listed. We have countries like um, Togo, we have countries like Burkina Faso, to name a few. Now, like I said earlier, it's not like this country can choose other colors, but the use of this color symbolizes solidarity among African countries. So whenever you think of it like, okay, why are these colors so similar? Just think of it like, okay, these people are one. And that is what they are just trying to show you just to promote Pan-Africanism. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comment section what you think of it. And turn on the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post. I love you all. Bye.